What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video, guys. How we doing today? Um, I'm doing great. I woke up about like two hours ago. Take a shower, get ready for this video, um, guys. As per usual, 10K in the comments, like the video so if you were new. Um, tough loss for the Mets yesterday, but anyways, guys. Before I get into this market talk vid, stubs, all that good stuff. Um, guys, be sure to get ready for 2K, baby. We're going to be posting three times a day on 2K. I'm honestly just getting ready for it. I'm so excited. I got my new PC, my new face cam, my new everything, really. My quality's better, um, if you haven't realized. Um, my videos render faster, so we're going to be banging out videos like nothing on 2K. So get ready, baby. Get ready for the ride. Stick with bugs. We're going to have some crazy content, including gameplays. I know we have not done gameplays, but anyways, guys. Let's get into the video. Um, let's talk about investments and all that good stuff. So right now, how to make stubs was first of all, I'm gonna just start off the video like this: um, selling your Trevor stories for 5,300, or just quick selling them simply. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quick sell all my Trevor stories. Um, I have 14. I got all of them for about two to three k when they were cheap. Now I'm gonna make a ton of stubs off him, and also the same with whoever won diamond, which was Jose Ramirez. I think I have six of him. So I'll be quick selling some of his as well. Yep, 5,600. So, yep, he is back now. I mean, that is good news. And I think he should keep increasing because his stats aren't even that good. But anyways, so right now, I know that the new six-inning program, or yeah, six-inning program is out. So let's take a look at that. So we got Griffey in it. We got Mike Piazza in it. And we got Jackie Robinson in it. So let's check the prices. I'm going to tell you what to do if you got them, if you don't, <coughs> and all that good stuff. So Mike Piazza is at 225. Not a bad price to sell at. I can see him definitely going down, 100% going down. We got, where's all the dudes? Paul Goldschmidt headliner is actually down. We got Luke Garrix down. Let's see, Ken Griffey Jr. 99. So his stats are absolutely insane. For 222,000, I mean, you can't really go wrong with the card. Uh, he's probably gonna drop. Definitely recommend you do not get any of these players yet. And where's the last one? Isn't there Jackie Robinson? Or am I tweaking? Is it not Jackie Robinson? Is it Jackie Robinson? Oh, it is Jackie Robinson. So 99 Jackie Robinson uh, at 210. So with that being said, the set's only been out for what? A two days? About a day and a half? So think about it. It's been out for a day and a half. They're at 220K. The chances of you like actually making stubs or like losing stubs right now is pretty high. So... You could do it either way. You could sell or you could keep. If you keep, you're going to lose stubs regardless. Like, you really can't keep these cards. As every set goes, they all drop, especially when the other one's coming out soon. So, they all drop. Right now, we got the Ernie Jacobs and the Nelson Cruz in pack. I'm going to go check out their prices. I believe that they're actually not that expensive because usually headliners aren't that expensive. Um, 62K, not expensive. I mean, this, this dude's all power. Um, he's pretty good. His feelings trash. Speed's not the best. But if you could get out freaking contact with this car, it's going over the fence. Um, and let's look at Ernie. Or is it Ernie? I don't even know if it's Ernie. I didn't really see. It's not Ernie. Let's see what it is. What, what is this dude's name? Um, oh, Fergie Jenkins. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really know too many legends, but this dude right here, I don't know if he's good or not. He's probably a stug he's in 97, but... How much is he? He's not even here. Did I not, did I not spell it right? Fergie Jenkins. What's going on? Here we go. So I did spell it right, but I don't know why it's not working. So Fergie Jenkins, 54K. Starting pitcher. He's got the four seam, the slider, the two seam, the curve. I mean, yeah, he's pretty fire. And he has a fork ball, which is interesting. But forget that. Let's talk about live series players and investments. Um... Let's see what we got. So we got all the live series players are actually down a ton. Bellinger's at 28, now he's at 22. So the market crashed. Wow, sales at 25. So finally, we've been waiting for a big market crash. This is the time to buy. Huge market crash is here. Oh, we have 12 Okunas. Woo! Wow, okay. So right now, best time to sell by far. Um, everybody's dirt cheap. Do we have two DeGrom still? Nope. Guys, everybody's really cheap. This is the time to buy. This is the time to definitely buy Justin Verlander, Kershaw. They're all pitching very well. Um, Machado at 20K is not a bad buy. Um, 
We got Corey Kluber at 21k. Very cheap. Baez went down about 3k. I just pulled him. Yo, so everybody's down. Strasburg's pitching great. JD Martinez is playing amazing. All these dudes are very cheap. Actually, we're about to quick sell him. Um, really, honestly, I'll get rid of Goldschmidt. I don't trust him being diamond the whole year. He's been slowing down. Don't trust him. Ryu at 5k. I have one. Um, pretty much everything is down a lot. Charlie Morton at 6k. I would hold. He's a Cy Young candidate. Kirby 8 to 7k. Went down about 2k. He was at 9 something. Wow. So everything's really cheap. People really think Shane Bieber's going to go diamond. Honestly, I think so too. DJ LeMahieu, probably going to go diamond next roster update. So right now, what I suggest you do is simply, if you have any players at all, go ahead and sell them. Pick up some live players. That's my advice to all of you. Uh, some of these signature cards are very, very, very cheap right now. Um, pretty good buys. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Billy Wagner, 81K. Pretty much the six went down a little bit, not too much. The live series dropped a ton, and I'm going to tell you why. Because headliners, you can pull anything out of headliners. You could pull the two legends, or you could pull live series cards. So with that said, that's why live, that's why every time headliner packs come out, um, the prices drop for live series cards, not so much legends. So only thing that really drops is the Nelson Cruz. Yo, Omar Vizquel went down like 15k. The only thing that really drops is Nelson Cruz and what's his name? And then Fergie Jenkins. They're going to drop. Now, it's going to be a good time to pick them up. Uh, if you pick them up and you use them for like a week or two, you're going to see their price skyrocket up. Especially with a stub sale. So, it's not a bad time to cop those cards. Those two cards only. And hold on to them. Use them. And then when uh, a stub sale drops or you just see their price go up, you go, go ahead and sell them. So, that's a really good way to make stubs. Right now... There is a lot of good price gaps. Like this Justin Upton right here is a very good price gap. You can make about 4K a pop off the reduction. Jimmy Fox, very good price gap. Right here. Um, you can make about three. You can make about 5K a pop off the reduction. You could do um, let's see. So that's two right there. Let's see if there's any cheaper ones. This one's not bad. Don Mattingly, you can make about five each. Five off the pop, four off the pop. Um, let's see, Joe Gallo, like 2K off. Ed Davis is not a bad one at all, but like, yo, this card is impossible to get. I've placed so many bids on this card, impossible to get. Um, if you're trying to make stubs like quickly, I would go for the 90s, like the lower 90s. Like, look at this one: Alex Gordon, 32k minus four, 5k a pop. Joe Torre, 2k a pop. Bill Mazzi, like 1k. Scherzer, not really that much. Paul DeJong, about 2k a pop. So like, literally. First of all, this Paul DeJong is not a bad one. You know why? Because this one's going to sell fast. You can pick up this car right now for like 11-2 and flip them for 14. Like, I mean quickly because a lot of it has a high demand, I would say, because it's a newer card. So a lot of people want that, especially for some collections. So that's not a bad car to do it at. Like this Miggy, for instance, let's say it was like a 10K difference. People aren't really going to look at this card and say, oh, like I'm going to buy him fast. Like... Like, no, no one really looks at the 92 Miggy as a car. Like, like it's just not realistic, in my opinion. Like, Adam Dunn's actually a car that people do buy. I don't see people buying Miggy, but Adam Dunn, a lot of people like him because of that power. Good pitch hit bat. So, this is not a bad car to do it at. If Luis Castillo was more, he would be good. All, Dawson doesn't really have, like, no one really buys Dawson. So, you want to go for players, like, live players or new tops or moments cards or monthly awards cards to look at the uh, price gaps at. Like, Juan Soto's not a bad one. They make, like, 1500 a pop, but it's not that bad. Um, Greg Holt, not a bad one. I'm hiccuping, bro. Not a bad one. We got Matt Harvey. This right here is a very good one. We can make 3 k a pop. This card is very hot. Um, he's a usable player in general. I like him in real life. He's definitely... You could definitely do that. We got Clevenger. These, all these cards dropped about 20K. Like, look, I'll show you my completed orders. So if you didn't listen to me and you didn't sell these cards, you took a fat L. Right here, this is my Mike Clevenger. I will remove my uh, face cam. We got Mike Clevenger. I sold for 47K, guys. I sold my Benito for 55. I sold my Lugo for 42, yo. So think about that. So ready? Let's look at Clevenger and Lugo. So look at that. I just took the biggest dub on both of them. Look how expensive they are. I took a ton, a, a huge dub on this. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed a bunch of different ways to make stubs. Stay tuned for more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's get ready for 2K. Peace.